Okay. <laughs> I wrote a story for you guys today. I want to take a few minutes, talk about the color green, the value of iteration, and a willingness to trust the process. At Hacker Noon, we didn't intend to make one of the most popular technology blogs. We intended to make a bunch of blogs and publish about all kinds of different things. We published stories about how to index your site on Google Search. We published a bunch of stories about people escaping Kazakhstan prisons. We even published stories about why you need to distract yourself from the Trump virus by baking raspberry scones. And it just so happened that one of our publishing properties was called The Hacker Daily. And thankfully, we renamed it to Hacker Noon. It seems to resonate a little more with people. How how hackers start their afternoon, and just maybe, if we're lucky, that'll become a tag that outlives me. But when I wrote it, I did not think that. And it was just another tag, another thing I wrote. And early in my career, when I was working on someone else's high growth San Francisco tech startup, I saw there was a disconnect between the work and the communication about the work. For a software company, developers are the essential labor. And yet when it comes to speaking about the company, it's rarely the developers talking. Too often, the story of the software is framed by the tech executive who doesn't make the thing. The person who actually makes the thing is the best to tell the story because they actually made the thing. The writer of code is the dictator of experience, and work is not about what you intend to build. From my North Beach apartment to now my Colorado living room, Hacker Noon grew, and we fed it, and it grew. And some months, we barely made enough money to keep the thing running, but we found a way to keep feeding it, and it rewarded us by continuing to grow. And now it's, in my opinion, the right mix of community and customers and a cool place to spend time on the internet. What I want to say is work is about what you actually build. The novelist Maxwell Neely Cohen called Terminal Green the color of a machine's soul. In the first computers, he accredits the use of green to not only be functional, it was easier to read and less blurry than white on black, but also because it solved a problem all creations have, economic restrictions. The green phosphor was cheaper. And that's how computers and anything else innovative for that matter gets made. It's the Venn overlap between what is better and what is affordable. Hacker Noon Green, it's an RGB of zero red, 255 green, and zero blue. <laughs> it's ugly. It's noticeable. It's a work in progress. Like a code name for your coding project, to me, it is always in iteration. There's something about color that imprints into the brain what site you are on. Facebook blue is distinct from Twitter blue, but color is not what's going to determine our success or failures. And looking back on the things that made Hacker Noon grow, there were many things I didn't understand at the time, but I trusted the process, I found a way to keep showing up to work day after day, year after year, and Hacker Noon, it grew. Because it's something new that you can say. An original colloquialism, Hacker Noon. In the media industry, that's a moat. Two, my background and all the people I ended up working with, it's in tech. And what followed our past and our interest was tech content and tech legitimacy. And three, our business model, free content on a non-exclusive license, made the most sense for this industry. Tech professionals, unlike manufacturing or retail professionals, understand how to use the keyboard and understand the value in spending time in telling their own stories. We, as a society, are just on the cusp of how the internet will shape our world. So when I think about the future of the internet, it's the people in this room, the software developers, who will determine it. At Hacker Noon, we are as green as the pixels will let us be, and through a process of intuition and iteration, we'll work hard to amplify the stories of developers. Thank you.